What's up guys? Brandon over here. Hans over there. He's not feeling too good today, so I'll be doing most of the talking. Um, hope you guys had an awesome week. We've had a lovely vibe here with the tennis going on, everything happening. Um, next week we will have all our parkings back and the locker rooms will be open again, guys. So then it's free for everybody to use again. Um, and then in terms of training, so we've done our three-week cycle now. We are completed with our back squats and our deadlifts. So we're a little bit in between a transition week, so we're going to mix it up a little bit for, for this week. Um, so what we've got on the menu, guys, for Monday, we have two strength um, windows. This one is going to be six minutes. For the first one, it's going to be eight bench presses, followed by eight Russian step-ups, dumbbell Russian step-ups. You can have six minutes where we're just going to do as many sets as we can there. Then in your second six-minute window, we have our eight single-arm dumbbell rows, and then a 30 second hollow hold just to work a little bit on that core. Then conditioning for that day, we've got a little bit of a max reps challenge. So a little bit of a fitness test to see how we've been going for the last couple of weeks. It's gonna be 45 seconds on, so 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest on each exercise. Exercise number one is gonna be calories on the bike. Number two is going to be down ups. Then you've got sit ups, wobbles, and then your last minute, you'll be able to rest. We're going to do that for four rounds, guys. It's going to be a total of a 20 minutes. So basically a 20 minute AMRAP. Then for Tuesday, we've been working on our skills, a lot of handstand holds and so on. So we thought for this week, we're going to mix it up a little bit. For those of you that want to go and try those handstand push-ups, we'll work on those. And then we also have a 12 minute window where we're going to give you some time to practice them. Three to 10 handstand push-ups for your first one. And then three to five strict pull-ups, just to combine that with a nice pulling exercise. After one set, you're gonna rest one minute just to recover so we can start our next set. Then after our 12 minutes of strength work, we're gonna move over to conditioning there. So there's gonna be a 17 minute MRAP. This one will be an increasing ladder. So we're gonna start nice and low, two toaster bars, two lay downs, two panda box jumps, it's a new movement, and then two shuttle runs. But each round, you're gonna add one rep. So then second round will be three, 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 three. Next round, four, 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 four. And then for 17 minutes, we're gonna see how far we can get. Then for Wednesday, we've got a nice little spicy one here. Every four minutes, you're gonna move over to the next station. So station number one is gonna be on the bike, station two is gonna be on the ski, station three is gonna be on the rower, and then station four, you're gonna run. After you've completed all the stations, you're gonna have a nice two minute rest, and we're gonna repeat that again. What you'll see, guys, what we have here is three different distances allocated. So, the 2,500, so the first distance you see, that's going to be for those what warriors, those of you that really want to push that barrier, see if you can make it. It's going to be a big challenge for those of you that's a little bit fitter. For the rest of us, average oaks like myself and Yinka, we'll probably just be going for the normal distances, 2,800, 800. And then for the ladies, we have the normal distances there on the right. The run, you're going to have two options, either going for stadium run, tennis stadium run, which uh, remember you only have four minutes, if that is a little bit too far for you, we're gonna scale it down just to a normal 500 arch to arch run. So that's our plan for Wednesday. Then moving over to Thursday. Again, we're carrying on with our strength work. So we did our deadlifts, but we finished with those now in our transition phase. So what we have there, 12 minute window of eight landmine rows. So we're bringing back those landmines. Then eight split stance, kettlebell swings. Also a new movement. So we're gonna spend a little bit of technique on there. And then eight dumbbell push presses, which everybody knows. For 12 minutes, you're just going to try and see how many sets you can work through. Then the conditioning, this one will be done in pairs, so in teams of two. It's going to be three rounds, a lot of barbell stuff. So we touched on the barbell complexes this week. And next week, we're just going to carry on with it. So three rounds of 30 hand cleans. That's obviously shared between you and your partner. 10 burpees, shared between you and your partner. Then we've got 30 front squats, 10 burpees again, and then we have 30 hang squat cleans. So we're basically just combining the hang clean and the front squat into one movement, and then we're going to finish again with 10 burpees. And you're going to repeat that three times as fast as you can. Then for Friday, again, it's your lucky week, guys. We have two partner workouts. So Friday, we're going to work in pairs again. That one is just going to be one long chipper. So you're just going to try and get from the top to the bottom as fast as you can, and then we're gonna do that for two rounds. So starting with 50s, 50 cal on the bike, 50 hand release push-ups, 50 ball slams, obviously you may share the reps anywhere you want to. Then we have 40, 40, 40, so 40 cal row, 
40 jumping pull-ups, and then 40 renegade rows. Last one is your 30s, 30 calories on the bike, 30 laydowns, 30 D-ball box step overs. If you manage to get there to the bottom, we're gonna start at the top again and we're gonna work it through another round. Hansa, what do you think about this week's programming? Yes, I agree. So guys, hopefully you have a very awesome weekend. Try and come watch a little bit of tennis. I know the finals is gonna be on this Sunday and then we'll see you all back next week. Have a good one.